This is the time of year a lot of people are looking forward to summer getaways. And the Irving Police Department has a program that can help provide some peace of mind while you're away. It's called Vacation Watch. And Irving Police Officer Robert Reeves is here to tell us more about this. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Of course, and let's get right into it by putting the website on the screen where people can sign up for Vacation Watch. And once people fill out this online form, what happens next? So once the form is filled out, it goes into the beat book, which your patrol officer is able to access whenever they come to work. So your patrol officer is assigned to your beat, your specific neighborhood of the city. That officer, in, in responding to regular calls for service, looks into that beat book, sees which vacation watches are, are active, and then goes around to those residences and checks on the, those residents. And officers also make a follow-up call upon return. What's the idea behind that? So the follow-up call is to try to see how successful, make sure you were not a, a victim of a crime. Some of the things that we want to remind everybody of before you go on vacation, though, is do not advertise that you're on vacation or that you're leaving or what date that you're leaving. We know everybody likes to take pictures and share those on those social media apps, but maybe try not to share them the day of that you're in um, that vacation resort. Maybe share them when you get back or maybe not give an answers to when people ask, oh, are you gonna be gone all week? No, you just want people to know that maybe you're there, you may be returning, or maybe you were there last week. Yeah, and on that same topic of prevention, along with Vacation Watch, there are some other things you should do to protect your home before you leave. Tell us about that. Correct, so if you get a daily newspaper delivery, you want to put that on hold. You don't want a, a bunch of newspapers collecting at your front doors because that advertises to that criminal that may be driving down your street that no one has been at your house recently. You want to possibly leave lights on. You don't want the home to look very dark, like no one's living there. So the, what you can do to make your home look like someone is still actively coming and going every day is always the best practice. Officer Robert Reeves, important information for the summertime. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.